Hey, come pull this cord. I can't. I'm going to go vacuum the other area. Around the corner. You can't. Dance? You oh can't. My God. You can't stop and just pull it. I can't. Your, I can't. I can't. We gotta get this done, bro. Just pull it, feed it around the corner. You'll be all right. Ah, uh, kids these days. <laughs> well, we got the second part of this. Same day, came back. Definitely need to have a brush tone it. So here we go. Just getting up some of the debris. If you watched the past video, you saw me use a manual sweeper. This floor has a little more soil. Uh, just getting any debris up as we've already vacuumed yesterday. Something, you know, in the Pacific Northwest with rain, you got leaves. Some of these properties don't put uh, outside doormats when they come into the building. That creates a bit of a problem. And that is the case here. to the cart. Looks like we lost something along the way here. Working in tandem, I vacuum, pre-spray, pre-sprayed up to that point right there. Then he'll clean that, and I'll pre-spray all the way back here to the cart. We went and did a condo earlier. However. I did not get a chance to fix the plunger on the swirly, so we cannot shower feed at the moment, which is no, no big deal. This is working great. Plus the pre-spray, I'm getting it nice and uniform across the whole, the whole floor, and then he's using a dry pad, which is one of these. Again, microfiber and AstroTurf. If you can see that get out of the shadow this stuff does the scrubbing this does the absorbing and I got a little magic bullet right here and I'm gonna go
go spray the next section and we'll spray right here. Little more footage for you. We have a couple more floors to do. We have the sister building tomorrow, but we may end up coming back and doing uh, floor one, and then there's a lower level and a basement. So it's like three. I know it sounds crazy because I think they go four three, two, one, lower level basement. So a total of six areas or six floors. And they chose not to do the stairs this, this time around. They wanna get uh, the total billing for this, just the hallways, which is uh, the biggest. We do it by the square foot. They wanna get that out of the way so that it's part of the 2000 and 23 budget so i'll work down here and see if i can help him with the cord we'll take a look and see how it's coming you need another path i'm gonna wheel the cart up here anyway so look at that looking beautiful All right, we've changed batteries only once. I just just changed up on the hydro shot. Oh yeah. Here's the stopping point. Got my vacuum over here. I will show you something here if you end up getting one of these vacuums. I didn't realize when it dropped backwards, this uh, piece here was actually, it had moved. And so it was kind of, I don't know if I could replicate it, yeah, like that. You see how it's not even in there? So when I started vacuuming, I heard a little bit of hissing noise and that's not good. You gotta have that thing snug. Otherwise, you're, it's not vacuuming through the tunnel, it's just missing. So, food for thought. Turf is digging out the soil and the microfiber uh, pulling all the soil up. If you're not familiar with how microfiber works, if you look at the pad, I'll try and show you here. The strands, you see how they're little, they're little, little strings? They're like little veins. So instead of just picking the dirt up on the surface, each one of these little veins or ventricle fibers draws the, the solution and dirt into the center of the pad where there's a special pickup on it. So I need to get back to spraying. I haven't sprayed yet. So let me do that. We'll be right back with you. They didn't get the memo. A lot of these folks did not get the memo. And I was told if they left something out there, then just go around it. So we don't want to clean under and then put that back down and trap moisture in and have any, any smells or whatever, damage the carpet, have the backing of these Rubbermaid things 
um, permeate or transfer into the carpet. So not doing that. We started right here. We have to finish this area. All of this is completed. Try and zoom in. One of my phone's not really adapting that great right now, but anyway, then we'll be off to the next level. I guess I'll call it a wrap from there. Appreciate y'all watching another episode of Carpet Cleaning Guys Vlogs. It's a beautiful day out here today. Just beyond the courtyard over here is the ferry that goes to Seattle from Bainbridge Island. You can see it, operating drone. I don't think you could see it. You might see the water over there. Anyway, that's a wrap for this video. Appreciate y'all watching, tagging along. We'll catch up with you in the next one.